Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Willard and I did my project on the aging society in Japan, which is proving to be a problem currently in the country. So what is an aging society and what causes it? An aging society is a society in which there is a higher proportion of older adults, which basically comes out to mean that there are more older people in society than there are younger people that can replace the amount of older people. So it's like you're, you're spending more money than you're making. It's not sustainable, right? And another thing that's uh, con uh, contributing to this is declining birth rates. And uh, 2019 even marked the first time in Japan fewer than 900,000 babies were born in a year since they first tracked the data back in 1899. Another thing is that less people are in relationships. Studies find that 70% of men between 18, 30, 18 to 34 report not being in a relationship, while only 60% of women report the same thing. And as you can see, the picture on the right shows um, what I believe to be two uh, grandparents. So, what are some other causes? One of them is economic stagnation. And over the past 20 years, prices have risen to such a point that makes it difficult for just one parent to stay at home. Both parents are having to work to be able to achieve financial stability, and this leaves very little time to even have children. Also, another thing is strict social standards. They also play a role. And there's even an old Japanese saying that translates to marriage is a woman's grave. Along with that, studies report that 70% of women leave the workforce after the first child. Japan is a more traditional country. Men are supposed to work and women are supposed to be the homemaker, take care of the children. But because of economic stagnation, you can't really do that because both are having to work to achieve financial stability. Also, 90% of women claim that being single is better than what they would experience in marriage. And down here, uh, we can see the population demographic pyramid. And as you can see, uh, there's a higher proportion of older adults, uh, older adults for male and females. And uh, this cannot make, make up for this. And there will be some kind of workage, work shortage at some point. I mean, there already is, but it will get worse. Uh, some side effects are that it leads to a decrease in the number of young people in manufacturing and just labor, the whole labor force as a whole. And older people, the older population has experienced a lack of innovation, which happens. People like what they like, they don't change, and they're not having enough new people come in. There are also too many employees that are of pension age. And also, due to there being more older people, more younger people are required to take care of the elderly. El elderly, which is causing some young people to feel like they are a burden. The government also has to spend more and more money to take care of the old, and the elderly are having to work more and more when they should be retired. And as you can see, as time is increasing and it is projected that the working age uh, of people will be getting older and older, as you can see by 2040, almost 60 million people will be of 65 years of age or older and right in 2015 it was only about 70 75 mil but um, young people are decreasing in the amount or the percentage as a whole bonus uh, bonus statistics japan is a large proportion of elderly people with them accounting for 27.3 percent of the population it's also projected that this number will grow to one-third of the population by 2036. Japan is the oldest population in the world with a median age of 48. More than one in 10 persons is reportedly over 80 years old according to the World Economic Forum. In conclusion, Japan's population is going to continue getting older and this will further strain their economy even further than what it is. They will not have enough young people in the workforce to make up for it. The younger and young people in the country are also less inclined to start families as they aren't comfortable enough to do so financially. Both women and men are working now, so the time needed to start a family just isn't there. And a growing trend of women not wanting to leave the workforce is also growing in the country. And that is it. Well, these are my sources, but that's it.